Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ivan Navarro and this is my co-host Abby. So today I she gives zero. Literally, you're just gonna give your turn your back to me? Excuse me, we're doing something. No, you don't you don't care? Okay. That's, that's okay. Do whatever you want. Okay. So today I want to give you some tips to hack into your mind and actually attract everything you want. It's a manifestation trick using your subconscious mind. You're going to love it and wait until the end because the end part is the one that gives you the mind hacking tip. If you're wondering where am I going, why am I so dressed up? The answer is absolutely nowhere. This was just what happened. I started with my makeup, then the eyeliner got a little bit too crazy and then I just committed the whole way. So that's okay. Abby. We can do this. We can, we can still save this, right? Laura, thank you. So, um, I kept wanting to manifest things and it just wouldn't work for me. I would do everything they tell you to do, like think positive, write affirmations, make your board, which I do, I have it with pictures and it's really pretty, but it just wouldn't work and I didn't know why. And when I got more into NLP and when I got more into hypnotherapy, I was told that there's a reason why you, um, sometimes that doesn't happen is not woo woo science, it's actual brain science, which I love a lot. They gave me this tip, the last tip, it's it's really good. So it kind of make everything come together and make me, um, make my manifest, my manifesting way easier. So two of the main things I wanted to manifest last year was love, which I have the tips for you and a different video, go check it out, it's really good. And the second thing I wanted was a really nice apartment. Um, we were looking for a place to move together and I wanted certain things in my apartment, like they were really important. And I also want, had a budget. So I had, we had like a, a destinated budget, like we don't want to go above this much. And I wanted these things. And even my boyfriend was like, that's not possible. You're going to have everything. Like you have to pick. And guess what? I got everything. I got the perfect apartment. I love it. I'm so happy. And we were able, I was able to manifest it doing these tricks. You don't want to make it something that you have to do or that you don't enjoy doing it. You actually have to enjoy it. So if one day you just, you know, we're just gonna forget about that. <coughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. So yeah, you, you just want to, you want to make it fun. And that's the thing. Like you want to make it fun and enjoy it and get those feelings. So I'm just going to get into it because I've been talking for too long and haven't said really anything. So I'm just rambling. So tip number one, you're going to use scripting. If you know what scripting is, that's awesome. If you don't, it's just basically you write down things as if things you want to manifest as if you already have them. You just write the story as if you're already living it and manifest that way. So what you're going to do for tip number one, you're going to script, you're going to write the story you want as if, let's say, for example, I'm going to um, manifest my dream apartment or what I did, I, I manifested my dream apartment. So I would sit down with a notebook. It can be any notebook. If it can be your special manifesting notebook, whatever you want to do it, make it fun. So I would grab a notebook and you start writing down everything you want. You write it down in present tense as if you already have it and positive. Do not say, I don't want to have this, like focus on what you want, not on what you don't want. Okay. So let's say, for example, I'm going to start my journals by my scripting, so for example, I'm going to start my scripting by saying, I am so happy and grateful today that I am living in my dream apartment. I love the pool. I love the big gym it has. I feel so luxurious and so happy. Whatever you write, just make sure it's in positive present tense and as if. So tip number two, you're going to involve all of your senses. So you're going to write down what you hear, 
what you see, what you feel. If you want to write what you smell, what you taste is kind of weird. I don't, you don't need it, but whatever. Whatever works for you involves your senses. But the most important ones are what you hear, what you see, and what you feel. So you're going to say, I'm so happy and grateful for my beautiful apartment. I feel, feel it could be feelings or what you touch, but I, I, I like feelings. So I feel so happy and feel so excited and so peaceful in the pool. I see the blue water and the air touching the, the water and making little waves. I feel the air touching my skin with the warm sun. I, I hear kids playing in the pool. I hear my boyfriend calling me to have breakfast. Anything you want, you just expand on it and, and really feel those sensations. Like trick your brain into thinking it's there. The best trick to make your subconscious mind it's already living something is by using all of your senses. Your, your subconscious mind does not distinguish between what is happening or what you are imagining. So uh, when you use all of your senses, you make it believe that you already have it. And now we're going to get into the most important tip to manifest it and hack your brain to actually attract it. So once you've wrote everything down, you're going to sit down, take a few minutes, close your eyes, and you're going to imagine you're there. You want, this is very important, you want to see it through your own eyes. Imagine like you're inside your own body in that picture or in that movie and you are looking at the pool, you're feeling the air, you have everything through your own eyes inside your body. Okay, this is very important. So bask in that feeling, start to feel those sensations, those feelings, what you see, what you hear, what you feel inside your body. And then part two of the most important tip, you this is key. This is key. Don't skip this step. You are going to get out of your body. In that picture, in that movie you're seeing, you're going to get out of your body and see that scene as if you're in a movie theater looking that movie play. So first you're in your body, seeing what you see, hearing what you hear, feeling what you feel. Then you're going to step outside of your body in your imagination and you're going to see yourself. So you replay that scene seeing it through the eyes of an expert, expectator, as if you're in the movie theater. You see the whole scene play, you say thank you, and you can open your eyes. That is the key. You have to first look it through your own eyes and then get out of your body to look it through the eyes of an expectator. Why, you may ask, why is this so important? This sounds so silly. What is this? Well, there's a missing part to not only manifesting using the law of attraction, but using your own mind because your subconscious mind, like I told you, it does not distinguish between what you're imagining and or what you're having. So when you're looking into your own eyes and feeling those sensations, it feels so happy because it thinks it already had it, right? So it won't work that hard to get it done, but when you step outside of it and it's looking at it, your subconscious mind wants to go back to feel it. It wants to go back into your body and live it. So it's going to do everything in its power to do it. And it makes that happen by using your reticular activator system. What? What is that? Simple words for your attention. Our conscious mind only takes about seven bits per thing. Like you can only focus on about seven tasks, more or less. So it tunes out everything else but those tasks. When you, fo when you focus on something, you start seeing it. So when you focus on what you want, you're using your subconscious mind to focus on the things you really need and you will see the clues to get it done. So an opportunity, you will actually see it. That was there all the time, but you never realized it. Of uh, course, a uh, coach, a client, a uh, website, anything, you will actually see it and take that opportunity. Yes, it's law of attraction because it will come to you, but it's also your unconscious mind actually seeing the signs and seeing the steps that will take you there. Please let me know if this makes sense. I can go a little bit more into detail in a different video about your reticular activator system and your subconscious mind. I just wanted to give you this little hack to boost your law of attraction system that you may already be using. So this try adding this to your routine and let me know how it changes your life. 
I want to know what you want to manifest. Write it down below. What is it that you're manifesting? What is it that actually happened if you have manifested something? And what are the tricks that you use to manifest what you really wanted? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. And I really don't know what she's doing, but you know, she's happy to be here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time in my next video.